the iPhone 15 Pro Max naked and afraid, as you can see here, my naked iPhone. This year, I used this iPhone almost exclusively without a case. I ended up not using a case, long story short. I thought it would be interesting to do a quick video to talk about whether or not this phone has, has uh, suffered at all from the lack of a case. And you might think, well, geez, uh, you know, maybe you've babied it. Maybe you're lying to me. I'm not, I'm not lying to you. I, w I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't do that to you. I'm not lying, of course. I have not babied it in any way, shape, or form. I drop this phone all the time. It is much more slippery, and therefore you run the risk of dropping it more. And I, so I drop it off my nightstand. I drop it off of, it falls out of my pocket when I'm in the car, when I'm getting into the car or when I'm in the car, it hits the, it's hit the pavement several times. It's hit, you know, hard floors down here in my studio. It's hit wood floors. It's, it's hit a lot of things from, you know, like my, my hip area up. So let's say, let's just call that three-ish feet. I hadn't really been thinking about it until I realized that the new iPhone was just about to come out. And I have to admit, I'm somewhat impressed. The iPhone this year, if you're not, if you're not aware, the iPhone uh, Pro models this year are made with a titanium frame. First time that they've been made with a titanium frame. In years past, it would be pretty easy to get a little bit of a, you know, some kind of, you know, scratchy dingy thing in the case if you dropped it at all and it's gotten better over the years. I haven't used a screen protector on my flagship phones for a long time, just because I like the feel of the screen itself. And so this thing has been completely naked for almost the entire year. How has it held up? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's held up extremely well, surprisingly well uh, for the number of times that I've dropped it. Let's let's see if we can get a good look at it here. So here's the screen itself. Just trying to get you a view of. There are a few hairline scratches that I can see here, but overall, the screen itself has been very good. Let me see if I get a. Let me get a, a darker. Here we go. Maybe that'll show off a little bit more. Nope. It's hard to say. I I can see a few. A, a few nicks and hairline scratches, but nothing that I ever can see when I am using the phone on, a, on an everyday base, basis. Uh, there's like a, a nick or two that I can feel with my fingernail, but it's not, uh, it's not something that's a big deal. The, the screen technology, whatever they're using, if it's Gorilla Glass, Victus to what same stuff that Samsung uses in their high-end phones, wh whatever it is doing very well. Let's try and take a look here at the uh, at the edge. It's absolutely perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Yeah, I mean, I'm scratching maybe a couple of slight imperfections, but nothing that is really noticeable at all. Down here on the bottom, usually the corners get rashed up, but nothing at all on the corners at and so uh, you can feel the antenna lines, and there is one little nick there. That's it. Maybe you can see if you... But nothing. Nothing. And then the, ba the back glass, the camera bumps, but not a single scratch there either. Nothing at all. There's nothing at all that I could complain about in terms of... <laughs> the iPhone 15 Pro Max and its durability. As I said, I'm well beyond the, I'm well beyond the place where I baby any kind of phone. I, I just don't do it. And uh, this phone has fallen pro probably more times than I would normally drop a phone because in years past, I've usually used the case, but this year, no case. And it's absolutely pristine. So to me, that says the move to titanium was a good one. Apple has has improved the durability of the phone just by changing that material. Whatever whatever glass technology they're using has withstood scratches and breakage quite a bit more than uh, in years past. I remember just like dropping my iPhone 8 Pro or 8 Plus on like two feet off the ground 
and just hitting in the right corner. And it just, I don't normally break screens, but I did break that one. And I don't have any anxiety about using this phone without a case. I think that's the most important thing. So that begs the question, do you even need a case anymore for your phone? Would you go naked with your phone for a whole year and and just throw caution to the wind? I found that, especially since I use a lot of MagSafe stuff, it works better. Even if you have a MagSafe case, MagSafe works better, holds more strongly in my experience uh, without a case. Also, in my car, I have a charger, and um, it didn't connect to the phone very well with a case on. iPhone 15 Pro Max, no case, naked and afraid throughout the year, just hoping that it would survive, and it has. Assuming that Apple sticks with titanium for their next iPhone and titanium from here on out with the iPhones, maybe the time for needing a case is over.